All right, what's going on, YouTube? Wasn't planning on doing a breakdown this early. I was going to wait until next week to do one, okay? But I figured I'd get it out of the way because um, I am watching some of Andy Ruiz against uh, Joseph Parker, okay? Uh, I was watching a little bit of Anthony Joshua against Joseph Parker sometime last week, you know, and after watching it again now, uh, you know, I, I didn't realize back then when I first reviewed the fight how poor the referee was. I mean, I might have mentioned it in my review, but I mean, the referee just completely ruined the fight because he did not want it to be an inside fight at all. He wanted it to be a rangy fight. And whenever these guys tied up, he wouldn't allow them to punch themselves out of the, the tie up, you know, the clinch or whatever. He would just break them up and separate them immediately. He kept giving them, them this, these warnings. He just wouldn't let them fight. All right, so it ruined the fight. It, 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 they, he made the fight very limited, you know? So when I gave it a review back then, and when I said I didn't like the fight, I was basically saying that, listen, neither one of them were really being that aggressive. I thought that the, both of them fought a very safe fight. But at the same time, you had a ref there that really didn't allow any action. So it's really hard to compare Andy's performance against Parker to Joshua's performance because here these guys were just able to do whatever they want. You know, these guys made it physical at times. Yeah, it was times that they tied up, but the ref here would let them do their thing for the most part. All right. This was actually a good fight. But I like the Andy Ruiz fight. All right. I like it. You know, I obviously I wanted the Miller fight because, you know, that's the fight that they were hyping. But I do believe Andy Ruiz is better than uh Gerald Miller. You know, that's just my personal opinion. I think Andy Ruiz is better. I know Miller is bigger and everything. And, you know, he was, uh, he, the, the danger in him is his size and his volume. But, you know, there's, there's a good chance a lot of that had to do with the fact that he was taking PEDs. Okay. Um, But I like the fight. You know, I wanted the Ortiz fight more, but we didn't get it. But let's move on. So the thing with Andy Ruiz Short guy for t today's heavyweight standards. He doesn't have a long reach, okay? Um, very flat-footed, all right? He's not light on his feet, you know? Uh, most of his defense is just him blocking with his gloves. Um, he can slip punches pretty decent and counter, uh, but he doesn't, he doesn't have quick feet, you know? So he's coming forward, very flat-footed, um, solid power though, solid power, uh, great hand speed, you know, one of the quickest at heavyweight. I know he doesn't look that way. He doesn't appear that way, but he has very quick hands, throws pretty good, uh, combinations, has a sharp jab, uh, good punch volume, uh, good accuracy, you know, pretty fair, uh, good body puncher seems to be pretty durable. You know, I've never seen him really hurt or anything like that. So Ruiz is a good fighter. The problem is, and the problem with that he's going to have with Joshua, though, Joshua is not as loose as Parker up top. Okay, I think Parker is more comfortable with fighting with his uh, lead hand low, and he likes to put himself against the ropes at times. He's just more loose. Um, Joshua, a lot of people say he's stiff. I don't think he's as stiff as, as he once was up top. But uh, Joshua is just, I mean, uh, Parker is just a lot more loose up top. He can put himself in corners, on the ropes, and be fine on the defensive end, you know? Um, similar to like Tyson Fury, Fury is much better. But I think, uh, you know, Ruiz would have success when Parker would back himself into the ropes because Ruiz would get a chance to land and throw some some combinations, you know, and a few of them would land. And this is how he, you know, to the judges, he looked aggressive because he was coming in, throwing big shots, throwing combinations. But Parker would put himself there, you know. But when the fight was at the center, especially when Ruiz got tired, uh, Parker was landing jabs at will. Um, another problem with Ru Ruiz is that as far as the body shots, you can throw and land body shots to uh, Ruiz all night long, you know? His body is just completely open. He's there to get hit, you know? He doesn't keep his guard 
guard low. He doesn't keep his his elbows tucked in. He doesn't fight that way. You know, he doesn't use any shell defense. You know, he's just a guy just, just coming forward, has a high guard, and, you know, he's just looking to slip and counter and throw combinations. That's pretty much it. But Parker was able to land jabs to the body, left hooks to the body at will all night long, which took some air out of Ruiz, slowed them down in the later rounds. And this, these are the rounds that Parker had more success in their fight. So when I'm thinking of Anthony Joshua here, Joshua is a guy that is going to use his length, his reach to his advantage. Okay, he's much taller. He's even taller than Parker. I don't know how much longer of a reach he has, but Joshua is going to be using his jab, jab, jab into the body a lot. Um, he's going to be throwing big right hands from from distance. He's going to be better at keeping it a rangy fight, you know. He doesn't have to get close. He can pick and choose when he wants to get close. And the thing is, Joshua, unlike Parker, Joshua uses his defense. He uses his legs a lot more than Parker. Um, he likes to come in, come out quickly. You know, come in, come out quickly. He's he's not a guy that just sits and stays in a pocket. He doesn't back himself into the ropes, like I said earlier. He's a guy that's always coming in quickly with his legs, coming right back out. All right. So that's, you know, if we I was talking about the Brazil fight. If you want to see what I'm talking about, look at the Brazil fight. You will see exactly what I'm talking about, what I'm saying. Uh, Joshua was a guy that was always coming in quickly with his feet, landing his shots, and then moving right outside of danger. Okay? Um, he can fight that way the entire fight, but he's probably not. He's going to take some risks. He's going to get in. He's going to try to want to throw his big shots up close at points. It's just that he's not going to sit there and stay there with Ruiz because Ruiz, when he fights, he's taller guy. And he's good at fighting taller guys. You can tell that he's used to doing it. Most of the guys he's fight are taller than him. He's good at doing it. But a lot of times, like guys like uh, a Parker who was using a lot of lateral movement, he was forced to lunging in with uh, his combinations. So there were times that he would just throw really wide shots and he would jump and leap off the ground to throw the shot, leaving him completely open for a counter, you know? And, and and Parker would take advantage of that sometimes. So it's just, Ruiz got skills. It's just the fact that he's short and doesn't have the reach. Um, these guys, guys like Parker, guys like Anthony Joshua, I'm suspecting Anthony Joshua to take advantage of that, okay? Um, overall, though, I think it was very important that Joshua fought a guy like Povetkin in his last fight, okay? Not saying that there's many similarities. You know, Povetkin is not the tallest heavyweight, a guy that uh, likes to get low as he comes in. He might not have, the, he might not have faster hands than, uh, than Andy Ruiz, but I think he was much better than um, Andy Ruiz with his timing and his angles, okay? Uh, Pavekin, who's also lighter on his feet than Andy Ruiz, knows how to get in on these taller guys that would fight a rangy fight. He knows how to get low, bend low, and come forward really quickly in a dash and come over the top with a right hook, you know, while stepping stepping in on the inside. He would, he would land a lot of hooks on Joshua whenever Joshua would throw a jab he would get under Joshua's jab and encounter with a right hook um, Ruiz is not as good as doing those things okay uh, I think Ruiz likes to throw more punches probably uh, more combinations but Povetkin who is a bigger puncher all right and the more accurate puncher and he's also um I think he's better with his angles. I think that was a, a great fight for Joshua to have leading up to this fight. You know, um, it's just, I just believe that Povetkin was the more difficult opponent. I know Povetkin is older. Uh, you know, I know, you know, people are gonna bring up PDs and everything like that. But as far as Styles is concerned, Povetkin was a better, uh, it, was a, it was a tougher fight for Joshua. And for Joshua to take as many punches 
as he did against Pavekin and not get knocked down or not get badly hurt. Uh, I think it's an, it's more proof that he has a better chin than many of us uh, say he has. You know, I know he's been down against Klitschko. Um, I know that Dillian White had hurt him before, but um, and I think even jo I think even Joseph Parker might have hurt him a little bit in their fight. But I think he has a better chin than people give him credit for. Uh, Ruiz, who Ruiz, who has a punch, I don't think he's on the level of a Pavekin, you know. Uh, and I don't think he is as dangerous as Pavekin, you know. I'm not trying to underestimate him, but he has skills. He's gonna bring a good fight. He always does. I never seen a boring Andy Ruiz fight. Uh, he's very entertaining to watch, but. I think Joshua has already has enough experience to be able to beat Andy, uh, uh, Andy and Ruiz. You know, I know people are saying upset. People were saying upset with Brazil and Wilder. I didn't think so. Um, people are saying upset here with Ruiz. I think this is a tougher fight for Joshua than uh, Brazil was for Wilder. But I think that Joshua should be able to handle uh, Andy Ruiz, you know. I'm expecting Joshua to win by decision. You know, that's going to be my pick. Uh, if Joshua is to beat Ruiz by knockout, that'll be very, very impressive. I'm not saying it can't be done. Uh, I think the game plan that Joshua... See, the thing, the one the one thing I'm, I'm, I'm waiting to see what Joshua is going to do. Is he going to come in with this high guard? I think early, I think he's going to come in with this high guard like he knows what he, you know, like he usually does. And then... Um, later on, and you know, after a few rounds, I think he's gonna get a little bit more loose, drop that lead hand, and start throwing jabs low and up top from the outside. Okay, I think he's gonna get a little bit more comfortable as soon as Ruiz slow down. But he needs to do a lot what Parker did in this fight and what he did against uh Pavekin. He needs to throw as many jabs to Ruiz's body as he can. Um, and then Try to get Ruiz to open up up top, drop his guard a little bit, and land a, a powerful right hand like he did against Pavekin. That's the that's the shot that got Pavekin. You know, if you go back and watch that fight, you'll see Joshua continuously just draw, throwing left jabs to the body. Um, not left jabs, but jabs to the body. Continuously kept doing them, doing them. He threw a left jab, or he threw a jab to the body, and it came up top. And knocked him right out, all right, with that that right hand, all right? Hurt him with that, dropped him, and then finished him off shortly after that, okay? Don't get too eager early on. Ruiz is a tough dude. You want to slow him down, you know? You want to go to his body. His body is completely exposed. It's there to get hit, uh, fight a rangy fight, and that's it, you know? It should be a good fight, though. It should be a good fight depending on, you know, who's refereeing. You know, hopefully he let these guys fight. Hopefully it's not like the Joseph Parker fight with Anthony Joshua. But uh, Ruiz is definitely going to bring a fight. Um, he's definitely going to throw his combinations and and, and force. He's, he's probably going to be coming forward. You know, I expect Ruiz to come forward. Um, I expect uh, uh, Joshua to fight um, on his back foot. But you never know. Joshua might bring the pressure to him. I mean, he's good at doing that, too. But he's going to throw his shots, move in, and move right out and be right outside of uh, Ruiz's uh, range. And I think he's going to do that all night long. You know, there's no other, there's no, he's, Joshua's pretty disciplined. You know, I don't think he's perfect. I think he has flaws just like the other top heavyweights. I think he definitely has flaws. But why give, you know, your flaws away to your, to your opponent? You know, if you have advantages, key advantages, uh, just take advantage of that and, 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 and outbox Ruiz as I think he should. And as I think he will. But uh, I'll definitely be at the fight. I haven't picked up tickets yet. I'll probably be waiting. I'll be waiting until next week to buy them. And uh, yeah, man. Let me know what you guys think. You know, I have Joshua winning this by decision. I don't think there's going to be a knockout. All right. But it'll be very impressive. Joshua wants to really impress his uh, first... Uh, uh, show in, in New York try to get the stoppage but later later not early on not early on because you can't sleep on Ruiz if you sleep on him he will knock you out he does have he's still heavyweight he still has power uh, but I don't think he's uh, 
I think he's a step below Povetkin. All right, and not just just I'm basing that on the eye test. We know we know that Povetkin achieved much more as a, a boxer, a professional boxer, than Andy Ruiz. But even on the eye test level, I think Povetkin was a tougher challenge for uh, Anthony Joshua. All right, and and other fighters. There's a few fighters now that I think that uh, were tougher challenges for Joshua than Andy Ruiz. So um, that's my thoughts on this, man. Um, make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, drop comments on who you think is going to win the fight. And I'll, I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, peace.